Hi friends, welcome to KA Tutorials. Today we are going to see what is an end event and what is an end terminate event. A business process will have a one start end like that. It may it may contain any number of end events. So two types of end events are there. One is a normal end event and another one is the end terminate event. Normal uh, end event is like non terminating end events are simply end for this path. Execution of the branch will end here, but other parallel paths can still continue. A process instance will automatically complete if there are no more active paths inside that process instance. For example, if a process instance reaches a non terminating end node, but there are no more active branches inside the process instance, the process instance will be completed. So that is about the end event. So whereas end terminate event, when a process instance is terminated, it means its state is set to be completed and all other nodes that might still be active in this process, uh, process instance are cancelled. To say in a simple words, if you are using a non-terminating end event, what are all the incoming ev events coming to that event, that only will be uh, ended. And if process is having an active nodes, those are still active in the process uh, instance. Whereas in the terminate event, terminate end event, if it reaches to the one particular end event and the other active instances are there means those are cancelled and that particular process instance will be permanently ended. So this one, we can see it in an uh, example way so that you can understand clearly. I'll quickly create a project. So how to use the end event and uh, how to use the end event so that you will not get into trouble and what is the best way to do use the end event I'll show you in this uh, video. I'll create a process. end event process so directly I will take a negative scenario so that you will understand what is the difference between this end and end terminate let the designer load add a start node After that, I'll be adding a plain script task. And after the script task, I'll add a parallel gateway. Then try to add a parallel gateway. Save this one. It has no end node. First, I'll, what I'll do like, I'll try to show you uh, end uh, terminate event, how it will behave. Then I'll show you normal end event in both the scenarios, how the uh, end behavior is working. I'll show you. Now, after that, add a script task and here add a human task. So once the process is kick started, after the first script task, automatically these two nodes gets activated. And here I'll be adding a in terminate. And here I'm adding a normal end. So just add a first one, add a simple for 
first script accomplish the same thing in the script task second script and here I am assigning this task to wb admin so this is second task just save this one so validation successful successful so here I am starting the process after the plain script task is there and here two parallel uh, like parallel gateway I am using so that two nodes are simultaneously started here when when the control comes to the second script task I'm adding a end terminate event when uh, in the human task I'm adding a normal end so how this one will behave just deploy this project and we'll check before that I'll check any existing deployments are there or not I'll stop these things start now go to the project unit 14 in the event and deploy this one build a success and deployment is also successful go to the process definitions start the process and process 15 started and if you see first script uh, got executed and second script got executed what is the behavior of the parallel gateway it has to execute both of the things but if you see the process instance status which is not active even though the active human task was present so this was the 15 process instance ID and diagram wise even though the task is active irrespective of the task is active or not once the control reaches to the end terminate event the entire process is completed because internally it has cancelled these tasks so you can check suspended or aborted or completed see this one was exited even without uh, completing anything the status is exited and that how the process instance was completed so end terminate event behavior is like even though the active nodes are present within uh, within the process it is ignoring those things and it is exiting those things and it is completing the process now we will see the behavior of the normal end node I will go to the same process and now at this time I will change the end uh, terminate to normal end event just delete this one select the normal end event add from here and save this one no no validations close this one deploy this one no build is successful go to the process definitions now start the process and process ID 16 started and if you see the console first script got printed and second script got printed and we'll check the process instance uh, status see still it is active and if you see the diagram wise also still the human task is active so that is the difference guys uh, between the normal end and uh, end terminate so this is about the end behavior end, end event behavior so the conclusion part is if you are having multiple end nodes try to avoid using end terminate node because it is going to 
uh, terminate your uh, or complete your entire process and it, it will ignore the active instances so my suggestion is to better to use normal endnote in case you are having multiple endnotes and if it is okay like you are having only permanent uh, one node and uh, you have to completely uh, terminate the process then you can go for the end terminate event and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and please share with your friends and thank you all